Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Come on in, take a seat. I hope you're sitting comfortably. Got your favourite drink or tipple, your whatever suits you, whatever floats your boat. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about this sublime, severely underrated fragrance, Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger. And I want to deep dive into it and let you all know why I think this is such a, an amazing fragrance for a multiple of reasons. So before we get started, let's find out what the notes are. So before we go and give this a spray, I just want to give you some background. I believe Tommy Girl, the fragrance, was launched around 1996. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm just going off the top of my head here. And it kind of was at a time where they were trying to um, capture the mood of the time. And it was a free-spirited kind of fragrance, or advertised as such. Um, for the classic American kind of girl. And I think anyone now who is not familiar with the fragrance, seeing the word Tommy Girl on a, on a bottle would actually think, it's probably too youthful for me. I'll bypass that. Well, this is why I want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Because the price point is excellent. You can get an 100 mil, so a large bottle, for £20. And at Christmas time, if you hold out till next Christmas, I've seen the 200 ml bottle going for around 20 to 25 pound as well. So it's an amazing price point, such value for money. And I don't want you to be put off by the name Tommy Girl. It's not youthful. Oh, no, 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 no. It's very, very surprising. So we're going to give this uh, a spray. And I'll just give it two, two sprays. Two will do. Put that back on there like so. Like that for you. Now, in the opening, you have a lot of fruits. A lot. Um, yeah, we've got blackcurrant, mandarin orange, lemon, grapefruit. And the, <clears throat> the top notes and the middle notes blend together very quickly. So you're not having, when you initially spray, it's not just the orange and black currant. You're actually immediately hit by the middle notes, which is lemon and grapefruit. So it's very fresh, kind of realistically fresh. Now I have people, I've heard people describe this as a fruity, fresh fragrance. Mm -mm. No, it's not. <laughs> It's fresh. It's bordering on green, not too green, not like cooked grass, um, but it's certainly not fruity. It's citrus. OK, so don't expect the smell of black currants. OK, it's more orange, lemon and grapefruit with that edge of mint that gives it that extra boost of freshness. And that actually that note, them notes, the citrus notes, kind of linger throughout the fragrance. And there are lots of flowers in here in the base. So within a few minutes, you start to pick up a little bit of magnolia, a touch of jasmine, and then there's woody notes that kind of give it an edge. Okay. It's not youthful. It's not playful. It's pretty serious for a fresh fragrance. And I actually enjoy it very much. It packs a punch. This is not a fragrance, despite the price point. You know, it's only £20 for a full-size bottle. You would think, oh, it'll last a couple of hours and it'll be gone. Mm -mm. No, it won't. It won't. It will last, I would say giving yourself three sprays, maybe a little bit more, it will last you six hours. It's a, that's why I'd say it's a totally underrated fragrance um, for its price point. There isn't much about it that um, 
shouts femininity. But on a fresh, on a hot day, sorry, I think sometimes you need a little bit of a effervescent, um, citrusy kind of fresh fragrance just to make you feel cooler. It, it kind of makes you feel cooler. But don't get me wrong, this is a heavy hitter. And because there's florals in this, um, it's it's quite in your face at first. It does mellow later on. And it, I want to compare it to a fragrance that I'd actually reviewed and I didn't buy, okay? And it's a lot more expensive fragrance. And it's Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And uh, I'll put a picture of the bottle on and the notes. Let's find out what the notes are on this. Okay, so I've got a little sample here uh, of the Flora Botanica. And I'm going to just give it a spray. I'm only going to give it one because I don't particularly, I'm not totally fond of this one. Okay. Um, and this is £63 for only a 50ml bottle. So you're pushing £90, £95 for a full size bottle. So there's a huge price difference. This is very expensive compared to this. But I want to compare the two and there's a reason for it. They're not dupes, not at all. But there's a similarity. And I actually prefer Tommy Girl over Flora Botanica, okay? And I'll tell you why. They're very similar in the fact that they have mint in it, okay? And that mint gives the florals in Flora Botanica a green freshness. The only problem is I find the greenness in the Flora Botanica a little too green for my liking. OK. On the other hand, we have Tommy Girl here. It has mint in it. But it's gent it's it's um, gentle. It's a gentle mint. It lifts the citruses, um, but it doesn't push too green where you feel almost like cut grass. OK. Flora Botanica kind of verges on that. And Flora Botanica has vetiver in it. And whereas Tommy Girl has cedar and sandalwood. So I prefer the woodsy in notes in the base from Tommy Girl because vetiver sometimes can feel, especially on drier skin, a little bit like dirt, a little dirty, okay? A little earthy, maybe too earthy. And for me, it was just too much. Um, longevity on Flora Botanica is about five to six hours, so you, it, the, the, they're relatively similar in performance. But price point and the overall smell, I prefer Tommy Girl. It's fresher. It's more effervescent, fizzy almost. Um, and it has a gentler base. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still woody in the base but not as um dirty kind of feeling like dirty skin when you smell dirty skin <laughs> if, I, if i'm making sense that the flora botanica gives me and it might work perfectly fine on youthful oily naturally oily youthful skin but on mine i'm nearly 50 in a couple of couple of weeks and uh, my skin is dry so <clears throat> excuse me tommy girl underrated underpriced <laughs> because uh, for £20 you're expecting a fragrance that's kind of almost like a body mist and there's lots of them out there this is deceptive it has that it has florals in it so don't think you're going to get a light gentle fresh fragrance oh no this is this means business this is very true to life grapefruit very true to life lemon it has a bitterness to the opening and that mint just lifts it even fresher and then it kind of turns and it does become softer after about five to ten minutes it will turn and become more gentle and that woodsy notes kind of softens those white flowers because sometimes 
white flowers can be a bit screechy but I think the sandalwood and the cedar just soften those florals and as I say it lasts for six hours and it gives off great projection we're not talking just a little scent bubble you will smell fresh and uh, people will be able to smell you and I actually have used this in the winter would you believe um, and this is my daughter's bottle I do have my own somewhere but I've got it in my bathroom and I didn't go and get it I just used my daughter's and it was it gets used okay now I just got her this so she hasn't used a lot but I'm kind of getting down on my bottle but I would not think twice of going out and buying it but be warned it's not for the faint hearted hearted it's a fresh fragrance but it's got some bite and it has a little bit of an edge to it and if you're you like those kind of edgy kind of fragrances I think you'll like this it's not soft and girly at all it's quite deceptive so that's my thoughts on Tommy Girl if you've tried it let me know if you're interested in it go and grab a bottle get a small bottle of 20 pounds when I say small bottle, 100 mil for 20 pounds. So it's a full size bottle, but I have seen them um, 200 mils for about 20 pound at Christmas time in the sales. Fantastic value for money, great projection and a great kind of edgy, fresh fragrance. Well, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like bell. It does actually help a very small channel like mine grow. Thanks very much. Bye.